Hey guys, it's Julia here, and I'm back with another Euphoria inspired video. This time, we are doing the makeup of the five characters that I did the outfits of in my last video, which, if you haven't seen, click the eye, either right there or right there. And also, there's a link in the description, and go watch that video right after this one. Also, I'm really curious if you guys watched Euphoria, who's your favorite character? Please comment down below. I like really can't decide. Right now, I really like Kat because I, I love this look that I just did. Um, but I love all of them so much and I can't decide. Also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you never miss another one of my videos and hit all notifications so, you know, you don't just get some of my notifications, you get all of them. And of course, if you enjoy makeup, please give this a thumbs up so I know that you wanna see more beauty and makeup stuff. Now let's just go ahead and get into the look. So the first character we're starting with is Rue, Zendaya's character, and she is the narrator of the show. Okay, so I'm going to be putting on some Porefessional Primer by Benefit and then a Milk Foundation. It's just really natural and dewy because I don't think Rue really was wearing foundation, but her skin was super even, so I just wanted to make sure mine was. And then I concealed some of my pimples and dark circles and set that with a Too Faced powder. Now I'm going to be filling my eyebrows in with the Benefit eyebrow pencil because Zendaya has really like nice long filled in eyebrows and then I'm gonna set them so they don't move around and we're gonna be taking the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and putting on just some very neutral shades now I'm gonna be taking a 24 hour Urban Decay black eyeliner and just applying that to the lash line and the waterline and then I'm gonna smudge it out with a q-tip Now I'm going to take some glitter glue and put that in triangles underneath the eyes, almost like a clown. And then we're going to take some silver sparkles and add that on top to give us that like clown sparkle look that Zendaya had. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and of course, you know, apply some mascara. I'm not really sure if Zendaya was wearing highlight or if it was just kind of like some natural sweat, but I just applied a little bit of highlight to give us that glow and then a nude lipstick from MAC. I think it's Velvet Teddy actually. Now we're just going to be kind of like brushing out my hair a little bit. She has naturally curly hair and so do I, so I kind of just wanted to make it look a little bit more bedheady. And this is the final look, very sad girl vibes. Now we have our pastel queen Jules, who is literally the opposite of Rue. So I'm gonna start off this basically the same way with some primer and some foundation. Although I don't know if they actually wore foundation in the show, but their skin looks so nice. So I'm applying it anyway. <laughs> and I'm blending it out with my beauty blender, of course. And now we're gonna set it with some Too Faced Born This Way powder. <laughs> I just, my makeup always creases, so I really just have to set things with powder. And Jules had thicker eyebrows, so we gave her some thick brows and set them with some Benefit Brow Setter, my favorite. And now we're taking a Too Faced palette and taking a very light sparkly pink for the lids. Now I'm taking a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil as a primer underneath the eyes and then we're going to take a yellow and put that, apply that there. And then a purple for the inner corner area. And now we're taking a very like hot pink eyeliner, kind of like a weird winged line, I don't know. And then some mascara, she didn't curl her lashes so we just applied mascara, no curl. Very natural but yet not natural look. Since Jules had very blushy cheeks, we applied some blush, of course. And just a little bit of contour because Jules was naturally pretty contoured. And just spray on some all-nighter spray. And we're just doing a light pink tinted chapstick. 
So now for the hair, since Jules has blonde hair and I don't, I just put a blonde wig on. And then she always kind of has her hair like slightly tied back. So we tied it a little bit back. And this is the final look. Here is our queen, Jules. Yes. Okay, now for Cassie. Again, we're just going to be priming the face and then doing the same foundation slash concealer routine for Cassie. I opted to do a very like neutral look for her because the only time she really wore crazy colorful makeup was either for her ice skating competition scene or for the Halloween scene. So we did her cute neutral look. So I'm gonna let you guys just watch this part real quick. Okay, so I'm just blending everything out with a beauty blender, and then again, just like normal, I'm going to set everything with the Too Faced powder because my concealers and foundation just always want to crease on me. Now for Cassie's eyebrows. Her eyebrows were pretty similar to my eyebrows, so I just kind of did what I typically do for my eyebrows for her. And then I set them, of course. Okay, now for the fun part, the eyeshadow. So she had a pretty like neutral sparkly lid. So we did that and then a neutral crease with some sparkle. And then we highlighted to give her that glow underneath her brow. And now we're gonna be taking the 24 hour Urban Decay Glide On Pencil and really just giving her some wings and some dark, 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 dark liner. I also set the liner with a black eyeshadow. Now for some mascara as a base before we apply the falsies. And I'm just doing some like demi wispy type falsies from Ardell. Now I'm gonna take some MAC lip liner, I think it's the color Subculture, and just overline my lips a little bit and apply Velvet Teddy. And Cassie had pretty contoured cheekbones, so we contoured everything. And even the nose, because she had a cute little nose. And then of course, we gotta do that dewy highlight finish. Highlight that nose, girl. And spray on some Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Since Cassie also has blonde hair and I don't, I put on a short, kind of wavy blonde haired wig and I sort of just tied up the front parts as well because she always has her hair sort of in some type of hairstyle to, up to, I don't know, half up, whatever. And this is the final look for Cassie. Now for one of my favorite characters makeup, Maddie. So of course we're gonna, you know, prep and prime the same as we've done the whole time. Maddie's makeup is so interesting to me because she has like, Honestly, she's like her character has started a whole new trend on YouTube with like sparkly makeup. Not sparkly makeup, but like makeup with like jewels. And if you guys know me, I'm Julia. I love jewels. <laughs> and I'm obsessed with her looks. So we obviously had to do a look based around the jewels. Okay, so at this point, I'm just blending out all of my concealer. And of course, we're just, you know, applying the powder to set it. And for Maddie's eyebrows, they were, I don't know, I mean, they weren't that thick, so I kind of just did them how I naturally do my eyebrows at this point. And I set them with the same brow setter as before. And now we're going to take the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and do a pretty neutral sparkly lid and a darker crease for dimension. And then we're going to highlight the inner corners and underneath the brow. And now we're taking a purple NYX eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. Um, she had a darker purple, but we're just working with what we got. Then I applied some white eyeliner to the waterline. And now we're going to be placing the jewels on top. And the jewels that I got were a little bit big for this look, but I think we made it work anyway, so it's all good. And now I'm going to apply some mascara. And of course, this wouldn't be a Maddie look without some false eyelashes. So we're going to be applying some Ardell falsies, just like we did on Cassie. And now we're going to do a full contour for Maddie because she goes all out. She is super snatched and, you know, full beat makeup. 
and of course some highlight and this is like my favorite highlights from Becca yes snatch that nose okay so Maddie definitely has some nice like overlined lips so we're overlining with some MAC lip pencil in the color whirl and then I'm gonna take some lip filler lip gloss from NYX that's super sparkly and cute over top and then I'm gonna spray it the all-nighter spray, of course. So for Maddie's hair, she has it in a slicked back ponytail for this look. So we're going to be slicking my hair back in a straight ponytail. Just, you know, super high up on top of your head type ponytail vibes. You know, the type of ponytails that will give you a headache, <laughs> but they're super cute. And since her ponytail is slicked back, I just have to push back all my baby hairs and I tried to do my edges, but um, I'm not very good at it, so I kind of ended up just like pushing most of the baby hairs back because I have a lot of baby hairs, <laughs> clearly. And then I just wrapped a piece of hair over the ponytail to cover up the elastic, and now we're going to add on some wild earrings to, you know, jazz up her look. And this is Maddie's finished look. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the gems over the liner? Okay, now for our final character, Kat. So of course we're starting off the exact same way, you guys, with some professional primer and some milk foundation. What else? <laughs> I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend that stuff out. I don't think I mentioned this when we were doing Maddie's look, but I also used a Tarte Shape Tape for concealer. And now we're just gonna set everything with the Too Faced powder as per usual. And for Kat's eyebrows, she had very thick brows, so I just brushed them up and then really like extended them out because thick. Okay, now for the eyeshadow, so I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics palette and take a very like burnt orangey red color and apply that to the lids and in the crease and then I'm applying a red sparkly color over top just to give it a little bit of shine and then I'm applying a sparkly champagne color to our inner corners and more of like a matte white underneath the brow and then I'm just gonna drag a little bit of that burnt orange underneath our lash line and do a thick winged liner Now I'm going to apply some white eyeliner to the waterline, and of course we got to do our mascara, prep for them false lashes again. Same Ardell Wispies, I think this really looks like natural glam. And of course we're going to have to contour for Kat, she has like perfectly contoured cheekbones. And she has a super cute little nose, so I had to snatch that nose of mine. <laughs> and a little bit of blush. Can't forget the highlight. Same highlight, putting it literally everywhere. Now taking a MAC lip pencil and whirl, I'm overlining my lips a bit. Now I'm going to apply a dark nude liquid lipstick and some all-nighter spray. I feel like Kat would totally wear these cherry earrings, so I had to put them on. And now I'm gonna take my hair down and just like brush it out, fix it up a bit. In the show, Kat has pretty straight hair, but she also has really short hair and my hair is really long, so I'm not gonna like cut my hair or anything for this. So we're just gonna make it look as close to hers as possible with the side part. And this is our finished look for Kat. So that is it for the makeup. Please leave a comment down below letting me know whose character's makeup do you like the best that I did? Because I'm curious, I really wanna know. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit all notifications. And give this video a big thumbs up. And I will either see you in my next video next week or my previous video, which you can click at the end. Love you, bye.